All right, so what I want to do, go over is what are the reciprocal identities of trigonometric functions? So when doing a problem like this, what I want to do is take a look at it and kind of remember what our, first of all, my trigonometric functions are. So remember we had our trigonometric function is to be sine of theta, cosine of theta, and then tangent of theta. And I'll get to the reciprocals. Actually, let's write the reciprocals down as well. Uh, we have cosecant of theta. We have secant of theta. And we have cotangent of theta. Now, if you remember, when we were drawing a triangle, all right, we went back over the triangle. One thing we noticed was, remember, when drawing a triangle, we had a right angle and an angle theta. Now, remember, the sine represented the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The cosine represented the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent represented the opposite over the adjacent. So then we started talking about reciprocal identities. If the sine represented opposite over hypotenuse, if I was going to find the reciprocal of that, we'd say the cosecant represents then the hypotenuse over the opposite. But this video isn't about the trigonometric functions using a right triangle. This is just actually reciprocals. So what we remember, hopefully from using the right triangle, is that these functions are reciprocals of each other. So there's another thing that we can talk about. What exactly was, does reciprocals mean? Remember when we think about reciprocals of a number, if you want to think of the reciprocal of 2, right? sometimes you'd say you know, flip the numerator and the denominator. That was kind of like one of the tricks we used to remember them. So, or maybe let's, let's even do something easier. Let's say the reciprocal of 3 fourths, we'd say it would be 4 over 3. But if I gave you a number like 2, that we initially we don't talk about the denominator as being 1. We just say 2. We have to remember that 2 can always be put over 1. So the reciprocal would be 1 half. So if I said the sine, if I know that the sine, the reciprocal of sine is the cosecant, well, this isn't written as a fraction. However, I can write this as over 1. So what I can do, if I want to find the reciprocal of sine of theta, or what is equal to sine of theta, it would be the reciprocal of cosecant of theta. Because remember, these are reciprocals of each other. 1 over cosecant is the reciprocal of cosecant. And since these are two reciprocal properties, the reciprocal of 1 is equal to the other. Now, so cosine is the reciprocal of secant. So that means the reciprocal of sec secant is equal to cosine of theta. Same thing with tangent. The reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So therefore, the reciprocal of cotangent of theta is going to equal to tangent of theta. Now that works the other way, again, with these three properties. So if I wanted to kind of work backwards, if I, backwards, if I was given the cosecant of theta, and I want to know what is that equal to in terms of sine, I could say since it's the reciprocal of sine of theta, if I take the reciprocal of sine of theta, it's equal to the cosecant. And secant is just going to follow suit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how the, those are our six reciprocal identities. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.